This is the future. Is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I'm at work today. It's uh, overtime and I have to stand here where the sun is not too much in my eyes so you can also see my face, you know. Something that uh, you guys probably don't know is that I'm not going to continue repairing the BM. I'm finished with it now. It has actually beaten me financially. I don't have the cash to repair what's wrong with that engine. The repairs were uh, too much. When I took the head in for quotations, it was gonna cost me almost 10 to 15,000 Rand just to get that engine up and running. And then it's not even guaranteed that it's gonna run. Uh, buying all the extra spares, plus fixing everything else that we found on the car, like the alternator, the brake sensor and so on would have cost me over 30 grand and the whole car's value is only 34,000 so I don't see any reason why I should continue with that why I should spend so much money for a car that's not going to maybe even run for the next year and then where do I get the rest of the cash I'm selling the car at the moment for scrap so uh, I've did, I did put it out, so if anyone is interested in buying a BM for dirt cheap, you can come and pick it up at my house. But I'm not going to buy a second hand engine or continue fixing that engine and then it's not even going to be worthwhile. So this video is just going to show you how I actually got the injector out. Because I promised myself that thing will not beat me. I will get that injector out. And I got it out. So come and check out. When they say, the bigger the problem, the bigger the hammer. Enjoy. Hi guys. You're probably wondering what am I about to do? Well, I've got this block on this oil pan. And since I'm not going to repair this block anymore, or not going to scheme it, and I'm going to sell this car as is, we still have unfinished business, this fucker and me. I'm not going to let this injector win or beat me. I will take this injector out. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. We are going to unscrew this injector. We're going to put the needle and seat back. We're going to tighten up. Then we're going to put brake fluid in there. And we're going to let it soak or stand like that until tomorrow. And then we'll see if we can get it out. Step one, loosening the injector. Step two, replacing the needle and seat inside. So step three, turning the injector back into its place. Step four, adding brake fluid and letting it soak. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, I've added the brake fluid. It's lying there on top. As you guys can see, it's not even seeping into the area. It's, that thing is still sealed and uh, the carbon is still all over the place we'll come and check it in a couple of hours maybe add a little bit more brake fluid or and turn the block around and start pouring some brake fluid on the other side okay guys the time has come we've got our punches we've got a nice four pound hammer because a big problem needs a big hammer we have the head with the injector that was soaked in brake fluid for the whole night so it's time to get aggro. Okay, there is a bit of a gap between the bottom of the oil pan and the top of the injector. So if we can just get it to start moving, then I can get it out. As you can see, uh, there's the tip. So the only recommended way of taking it out, hammer and a punch and hitting the tip. That's why they said the injector will be damaged anyway. So. Whoever's gonna buy this BM now is gonna have to get new injector tips as well. Okay, let's see if we can find a punch that fits nicely. This one's a bit small. 
but it's usable. I need something that's not going to get stuck inside the hole. That's perfect. It's moving! It's moving! It's out and about. And that's all she wrote. Yo! Look what it looks like inside, it's fucked. So there we go guys, at last. The injector is out. Now because of the way I took it out, which was to hit it out, the tip as you can see is totally flat. That means we have to do one of two things. You can either buy a new one, which is costing 4,800 Rand or you have to rebuild this one and reset it at an engineering or diesel place which charges me 6,500 Rand to do that so obviously the best choice will be to buy a new injector but it's also sad to know that you have to replace this entire injector just because of a tip I mean couldn't they just fucking sell the tip separately you know for like 500 bucks and then Set it for another 500 and voila, there you go. But yeah, it's not my problem anymore. It's gonna be the new person's problem. So there is that. And uh, so, although the BMW did beat me financially, it did not beat me with the repairs. I'm sure I would have gotten this car right. It would have taken some more time. It was just a matter now of skimming this and cleaning the engine and buying the spares and then getting an expert to help me with the timing and we would have been off. But I'm not going to spend another, uh, let's see, the head didn't get damaged now. So it would have cost me four, five, six, Seven, it would have cost me another eight to fifteen thousand rand. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this very short series. It's a shame I couldn't finish the BMW repairs. Please subscribe to this channel. Remember to hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. See you at the next time. Cheers.